Hey! Following on from the axis aligner video, here's a video on the circle aligner. The circle aligner is useful to arrange items in a circle rather than in a line, like with the axis aligner. You can do this with a number of objects exactly like the axis aligner. To get started, we're going to create a cube. Let's do spheres this time, actually. And we're going to open the sphere in the inspector. We're going to create a root object with uh, a parent object with the up arrow. And on the up arrow, we'll, uh, the parent object even, sorry, we'll add the circle aligner driver from transform drivers circle aligner. We'll check auto add children. And now we can start talking about the properties. So circle aligner differs from axis aligner and it lets you specify an axis manually using coordinates. Um, this controls where the circle is arranged. So right now the y-axis is set to one, which means that the circle will be around this orientation. We can also do uh, x, which will be um, a different orientation, and z, which will be another one. So think of it like rotating rings. Once we've got this set up, we'll change through the axis so you can see. There's also radius here. Radius controls how far away from the center point the charred objects are. I'm going to up this just a little bit. That's too much. Perfect. And then I'm going to start duplicating the sphere just like we did with the cubes. Here you'll see that they've now arranged themselves neatly in a circle. And if I change the radius, they all move nicely further in or further apart. I can also change an offset, which offsets the position in the circle a little bit. So you can put 10 in here and you'll see they rotate around a little bit. This is useful if you've got like uh, terrain around it or objects around it that need to line up precisely but aren't matching the exact rotation of the circle aligner's point. The rotation offset controls how the objects are rotated to face the center. This isn't that obvious with spheres, so I'm going to spawn a cone. And we'll put the cone into the circle aligner as well. It will jump straight in. I'm going to make a parent object on the cone. And then reset the cone's position and rotation. What this allows us to do is it allows us to manipulate the cone because the parent is being driven by the circle aligner. So if I rotate the cone so it's facing inwards, you'll now see what the rotation offset does. So right now the cone is pointing directly into the center of the circle. If I change the rotation offset, you'll see it's now pointing 45 degrees away from the center of the circle. I'm now going to replace all the spheres with, with cones by parenting each sphere under each other so I can delete them faster. And now we're just left with the cone. I'm going to duplicate a bunch of cones and lower the radius. And you'll see we get this kind of interesting spiral effect going on. That's what rotation offset is for. If I change the axis, this now makes it go around like this. Again, cool effect going on here, especially if you add one more cone. There we go. Add a few more. That's better. And then if we change it to Z, it does this. That's all there is to it. I think you can do multiple axes at the same time. So if I drag one into here, you'll see it's now doing both. So we've got this weird spiral going on. I don't know what three does. Let's see. 
Well, that's really interesting. I also don't know what happens if you put a number larger than one in here. Not entirely sure what that's doing. You can try playing with it yourself. That's the sphere aligner. Sorry, the circle aligner. We're doing the sphere aligner next. That's the circle aligner. The circle aligner is used in a bunch of my worlds as well. Uh, Vigil comes to mind. It's what does the obelisks. They're perfect. It's also what does the spawning effect. So in Vigil... Um, zero that out. And then increase the radius a little bit. So in Vigil, you spawn around next to each of the um, obelisks, and that's controlled by the um, circle aligner and some spawn points. Look out for a video soon on spawn points. They're a bit different from spawn areas, but we'll go over them in a different video. That's it for the circle aligner. Have fun with it.